I think my main subject matter is actually photographing in England and uh, I've done that over my 40 year career. One of my earliest influences was seeing the work of Tonino Jones way back in 72 when I was at Manchester Polytechnic studying photography. He's the first person to photograph the beach or the street. This is a form of theatre and to create idiosyncratic sort of views of that, which is fundamentally what many of the Americans were doing. He learned that when he was in America studying as part of the Brodovich Circle and he then brought that idea back to the UK for the first time. In America, there's a great tradition of street photography, and in, in the UK, we, we, we don't have quite the same relationship to the street. We use the beach instead. That's where we can show who we are. That's where we relax. That's where all the quirks of English behavior are best seen. So I think Ray Jones, of course, uh, decided to make the beach and exploring the British seaside, and in particular the English seaside, the sort of fundamental thing that he did when he came back in the 60s and started photographing here very seriously. Seaside towns are sort of more English than probably inland because it's sort of very well preserved. So that's what I like about them. It's a bit like stepping back into 20, 30 years ago, just the time when Tony Ray Jones is around almost, and it's still living and breathing as it was then. So here we have a great page from the um, Tony Ray Jones notebook, uh, and it's almost like a manifesto that he's written out. Talk to people, stay with the subject matter, be patient. I mean, that's something I saw that if he saw the potential, he would um, follow it through. Vary composition and angles. Be more aware of composition. Don't take boring pictures. That's a good one. Get in closer. The famous Robert Kappa quote. If your photographs aren't good enough, you're not close enough. Don't shoot too much. No middle distance. So what a great piece of paper that is. Partly inspired by looking through all the contact prints, I've just been photographing this summer doing the season. Tony Ray Jones photographed the season quite extensively. He went to all the things like Chelsea, Ascot, etc. Uh, and I went back this year, despite the fact that there's 40 years difference between Tony Ray Jones shooting in the 60s and now, almost 50 years, uh, things look very similar. And uh, it is the sort of um, peculiarly centric English habits that can be found at the season and at the seaside, which I find endearingly fascinating. And I can never get enough of this as a subject matter. It's one of those subjects that just keeps on going. If you have an actor on stage and you see him doing, showing emotions or being creative, it's not true. But then you believe that it's true.